and lack of monitoring by various district assemblies has been identified as one of the major causes for the collapse of cranes during construction of high-rise buildings. A structural engineer at ADK Consortium, Seth Atram Danso, says the assemblies have been mandated to conduct regular monitoring of all ongoing building projects as indicated in the building code. Skyscrapers, modern architecture and glass buildings are springing up everywhere in the capital city, Accra. A casual tour of the city and other suburbs reveals a fast-developing city with massive cranes at various construction sites. Cantonment, Osu, Laboni and the State Banquet Hall are areas one can identify some of these cranes. According to expert, these cranes have been designed as a safe and easy equipment in lifting building materials for these constructions. That notwithstanding, negligence can make it dangerous to construction workers and others who stay around. If the weight for which a crane is designed is exceeded, there is a likelihood of a failure. Normally, they are, their cranes are built with steel. So if the steel has defects, my manufacturing defects, you can have a crane collapsing due to that. If the joints, uh, the, the points of which they are fixing, is not well done, you can, you can have it collapse. On Friday, September 11 this year, about 107 pilgrims lost their lives when a crane fell in Saudi Arabia's Grand Mosque in Mecca. Despite the increase in high-rise buildings all over the capital and other cities, such accidents of that magnitude has not been recorded. On Monday, September 14, it was reported that a crane which was being used in the construction of a building around the Morning Star School collapsed onto the building, but there was no casualty. Though contractors and engineers play a major role in ensuring the safety of all materials to avoid any accident, engineer Seth Atram Danso says the assemblies have a major role to play. Uh, assemblies to also, they go through and do the regular checks as they are, they are expected to do on projects. They are supposed to, at the construction stage, go around, have an overview of what is happening on the site and uh, the safety mechanisms that have been put in place by the contractor and the uh, consultant or the whole construction team and review it from time to time. Authorities must have the capacity to be able to look at some of these things. He was, however, of the view that investigations on all these accidents should be conducted on time to identify more solutions to some of these challenges.